The Ward 6 Council candidates <coughs> come forward, please. Incumbent Brian McNamee. And his challenger this evening is, is here, okay, <laughs> to make sure we're here, is uh, William Harris. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, Joe. Two minute opening statements for both of you. We'll begin with Councillor McNamee. I want to uh, thank the uh, National. Adams National Historic Neighborhood Association for the invitation tonight. Uh, anytime I have an opportunity to speak in front of a forum like this, great privilege. Um, I've been a ward counselor for 10 years, so I, I think I should be able to talk to you a little bit about what I've done. I think that I'm going to run on my record. And as a ward counselor in Ward 6, I serve a number of neighborhoods. Ward 6 is a rather complex place demographically. I serve North Quincy, I serve a little bit of Wollaston, I serve the old Atlantic neighborhood, I serve Marina Bay, and then I serve one of the premier residential neighborhoods in Ward 6, which I, I believe is Swan. In North Quincy, I fought to preserve the quality of the residential life up there. There was a proposal for a C-Mart supermarket on Hayward Street. And uh, I opposed that over a number of years, and I was successful in getting it to stop. So currently, they've already received uh, final arguments in land court, but the judge in over a year has failed to rule. So I'm fairly confident that the city council's uh, vote on that is going to stand. When it comes to Marina Bay, I was one of the first councilors to pass a comprehensive noise ordinance that defined a special noise district for Marina Bay. And it's been very important for the folks down Marina Bay who've had to deal with some very raucous nightclub activity for a number of years. When you come to the peninsula of Squanum, the Long Island Bridge and the city of Boston's continued use of Moon Island and Long Island has been a big issue. I've been able to get them in a recent plan to renovate the Moon Island gun range to promise that they're going to install sound absorbing, sound attend attenuating materials in the building facades and fencing to reduce the noise from the gun range. So these are just a few of the things that I've done and I'm proud of my accomplishments. My Thank record. you, Councillor. Mr. Harris, a two minute opening statement for you. Thank you, Joe. <clears throat> Thank you to the ANHNA for allowing uh, us to speak here. And, uh, um, um, somebody stole my line. Um, 28 years ago last August, my wedding reception was in this room, so it brings back fond memories, except for uh, we had a few more people. We had 200 people there, so it was pretty packed. But, uh, it really brings back great memories. And um, as, um, as uh, Brian had just mentioned about Squanum, where I come from, um, is similar to the neighborhood that we have here. Um, fighting, fighting, we're, we're permanent, we're permanent, permitted for uh, um, a building, um, a um, um, style of buildings. And uh, right now we have the Star of the Sea, for instance, that's being uh, uh, discussed. And uh, the problem is, is that that could become a beast um, permitted area. And once you set a precedent, um, then things can happen and change the whole look of the neighborhood. But I brought my children up in Swanham, and um, I really, really, uh, I was a really lucky guy. In 1997, we moved here, and uh, they had great education, great, great, they were always safe. Uh, I, I, kudos to the police and fire and all the public works folks here in Quincy. Um, but with that, um, I'm in this race because I, I have experience. I, uh, I run five cities, I work for the Postal Service. I, do, I take care of 65,000 um, homes and businesses up in the North Shore, Middlesex area, and um, I, I cover over um, a $10 million budget, and I, I do it pretty good because I was promoted from a mailman. So um, I ask for your vote, though, on November 3rd. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Mr. McNamee, uh, questions for both of you. The same question now for both of you. What is the most pressing issue that needs to be addressed in your ward? What actions do you, as the ward councillor, plan to take on this issue? Two minutes, please. 
Uh, North Quincy, not unlike other wards in the city, uh, is dealing with incredible pressures with regard to development. It's not that development isn't good. We need development, but we need the right kind of development. Development that doesn't impinge upon the quality of life that we've all come to enjoy in our neighborhoods. And I'm committed to fighting for any, against any proposal that essentially challenges those, those standards that we've come to enjoy. Uh, I do think that there's one thing that we have to be careful about. Too much residential development is not good for the city. We need commercial development. Commercial development is very important to have a quality real estate tax base. Commercial taxpayers pay twice the rate of other taxpayers. So we have to be very careful about uh, you know, how we deal with development proposals. Uh, North Quincy, because it's at the doorstep of Boston, uh, there's a great push to come in there with residential housing. So I have to be very careful about the quality of the development that we see. I will say one thing, with regard to the Star of the Sea, uh, and I think that uh, people, if they look at my record, know when I say something about uh, being strongly opposed, uh, that I, I fight and I fight hard. I will not uh, let my guard down for any development other than residence A development there in accordance with the current zoning. I'm not going to support any variances that will allow anything denser than what's already currently permitted uh, by the zoning. And uh, you can have my guarantee on that. And I, I ask you just to look to my record uh, for my credibility on that. Uh, I guess the final thing I have to say is, as a ward counselor, I've answered all phone calls and emails within, not, if not hours, the same day. I, I'll, I'll put my record of constituent services against anyone's, and I think it's second to none. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councilor. Mr. Harris, same question. What is the most pressing issue that needs to be addressed in your order? <coughs> what actions do you, as the Ward Councilor, plan to take on this issue? Two minutes, please. Well, there's, having, um, over the last uh, six months, met with people in Ward 6, uh, and I continue to meet with people at Ward 6. There's a lot of pressing, is pressing issues. I had an event um, last week at Marina Bay, and I was questioned about traffic. There's a new development going up there. Everybody knows, I have to go to Wuben each day. Traffic is a mess. It, something had, had it been done, something should be done, and it's only gonna be worse. There's a big concern there um, with the traffic, but that's not the real main one of the real main worries I already mentioned, um, as, um, um, as, as Brian has mentioned about the Star of the Sea and, and the neighborhood of Squam with, the, with the, the permitting, and it's good to hear um, what Brian has been, has been saying all along. But um, the, some real problems is the spending and, and our taxes. I can't afford any more tax raises. I'm, a, I'm about to retire and go into public service. I cannot afford it. There are people like my wife and myself who work two jobs. We need, we need, people do not need any more property taxes going high when money is not being spent the proper way. And that was the major concern I heard out in, with the people in, in Ward 6. Again, my name's William Harris, and I would really appreciate your vote on whatever. Thank you. Thank you both gentlemen. Thank you very much.